here Tuesday Tuesday night Wednesday night Thursday night so I've been here for like three days now can I say three days yes yeah, there about three nights we spent three nights already in this place and we are still like right now we're still trying to fix the curtains the wall is so hard you guys the wall is so hard that you can't even get the nails in there well, we're still fixing, trying to fix the cutting rods so we can fix the cuttings. And then we're still, we've done, fixed, we sorted out the TV, the cable and all of that. That has been sorted out. I'm yet to sort out the chair issue because the chairs, apart from the fact that the one that is broken has not been fixed, uh, it's still very dirty, which means that I need to do a lot of cleaning. I need to, I don't even know how I'm going to do it. And it has started raining here, so um, I need to like really uh, check uh, the weather to be sure of when I'm supposed to kind of polish. Is it wash? I'm going to wash the chair, but not wash like pour water on it, but I'm going to really use water and soap and hard sponge to really scrub it properly. And then I'll have to allow it to air dry, right? So, or probably if there is light, I can use my blow dryer. I think that will work. If there is light, I might use my blow dryer to blow dry it. We've not had light since. I think they brought the light day before yesterday. And then they took it early hours of the morning. I think around 2, 3 a.m. Because it was raining. And since then, we've not had electricity. But it's okay. This place is quite airy. And uh, it's quite bright. So, I don't really feel... I'm not really feeling the whole no light thing like i do like i did in the other house and then probably because i've not i've not cooked anything yet the fridge is still empty so maybe that's why i'm not really feeling the absence of the light yeah i think that's just about it so we're still settling in a lot of work to do you guys how do you deal with you know moving into a new place other places we've moved into yeah i know that it took me really a long time it took me a long time to actually settle in but this is actually the first time i'm really not going all out but i'm really making the effort to put the place in such a way that i'm very comfortable in it because all the way all the places we've moved into it's been me trying to find um probably a business place i can go to so i don't really pay attention to you know how the house is supposed to you know I, didn't, I don't really pay attention to certain details because really the fact that I'm going to be working from home because most other times I've just been focused on getting a shop, you know, doing my business out there, going out there. This is actually the first time I'm actually accepting that I'm going to be working from home for a long time to come. So I'm really, you know, putting in the effort to make the place more appealing for me so that I feel motivated, I feel inspired to actually create content, to sew, to do all of the things I want to do, right? It's not, moving It's not easy, but I, I'm, I love it. Like, 
I'm enjoying the fact that I actually get to choose where we get to live this time around because over the years I've not been the one choosing where we've lived in the last 10 years. Yeah, I've been married for 10 years now. We celebrated 10 years. We celebrated our 10 years anniversary on the 7th of January 2022. So 10 years now, I've not, this is my first time actually choosing the house I want to live in. And it feels really good. Not because it's perfect, but at least, um, you know, with everything, there are plus and there are minus. You have to, you win some, you lose some, right? So I just try to look at the positive area and see how it meets my need. And I just go with that. Because if you want everything to be 100% perfect, trust me, except you're the one building the house yourself and you have more than enough money to actually you know, put up the kind of structure you want. If not, you cannot get 100% of what you're looking for. You can't even get 75%. But at least if you get like maybe 50%, 60%, I think you can actually work with that. And that's just what I did. This place just, and the space I needed, like uh, the space I want to use, like my own space where I can have my office, I can have my, I can do my sewing, I can create my content, I can read a book if I want to just go in there and just, be by myself and just read a book i have that space now and that is really really um makes me feel very happy and then the fact that you can hear people's the sound of people talking but no cars like no honks and all of that this is something i really love even though they are still fixing roads here which means that cars are going to be plying this road but it's not going to be compared it's not going to be anything compared to where we're coming from where oh my god you guys you guys, you can't even get a good sleep, a good night's sleep without big trucks, you know, plying the road and honking up and down. So that is a plus. The area is quiet and um, I have big windows, so I have enough, you know, natural light coming in. And then it's airy, it's spacious. So I think that's just it. So like we are still settling in, settling, settling in. I just wanted to feel you guys on what's going on. How are you guys doing? And uh, I hope the Ukraine uh, stuff hasn't affected any of you directly, even though it's affecting every one of us in one way or the other. And I'm really praying that this whole war comes to an end as soon as possible because of the innocent life, apart from the fact that it's affecting the economy and all of that, there are innocent, you know, you know, people losing their lives, innocent people losing their lives daily. I mean, it's not just funny. And uh, I hope we're praying for Ukraine. I hope we're praying for Russia too. And I hope we're praying for uh, family members, friends, country people that are, that found themselves in those countries. Seriously, it's not been funny. It's not been easy. Even though you are not, we are not, even though I'm not directly affected, I still feel the impact like it hurts to turn on the news and see what's going on like i just don't want to listen to the news i don't want to read the news i don't even want to know what's going on because it's just heartbreaking and my children having to ask me mommy what why is why why why, why what's the, what's the reason for the war why are they fighting and things like that and you have to sit down to explain to a seven year old and a nine year old why countries are fighting and killing their citizens it's not making any sense to me. But anyway, I just wanted to come in here, say hello, you guys, and, um, you know, work is still going on. The person that is helping me with the cuttings just stepped out to buy some nails because the nails we have here is not piercing the wall at all. So I want to try a different type of nail and see how it goes. I'll keep you guys updated. You said that you were down. trying to connect the washing machine to a drain <laughs> making a drain for the wash might take a minute but we'll get it the type of love that you want like it i know that you like it you like it yeah you like it i know that you like it you like it you said that you were down just yesterday Hoping you'll stick around and wait for me I see you on the come up but don't switch up on me yeah. I know that you, I know that you, I know that you, I know that you You said that you were down, hoping you'll stick around Hoping you'll be around for me You said that you were down just yesterday Hoping you'll stick around and wait for me I see you on the come up but don't switch up on me 
So perfect we play through Only cause you set up the angle Web that you weave got us tangled Caught in what's before our eyes Show off your fantasy reality Whoa, that's yours but I'll keep doing mine
people still make mistakes It isn't perfection, what is it we chase? Bow for your 15 seconds of fame It's your time Give me the messy, give me the pain A rose will not grow without the rain I wanna be someone who says There's more than meets the eye Show off your fantasy reality table is not ready yet good morning guys it's friday morning i've been awake since like 5 a.m my kids have gone to school my husband has gone out but i've just been lying down i just came in now to make something for myself for breakfast okay <laughs> so let me get breakfast i need to put something in my system and i need to have a coffee so i can edit a video Hey guys, I'm having some toasted bread. I just used my frying pan to toast it because there's no light and a cup of coffee. There's no light. My eggs are not enough well, because I don't want to go out to buy eggs. I just had one egg in the house and tomatoes. I don't even have the strength to start slicing the cabbage. So I just used tomatoes and onion and some basil leaves and all of those spices. Hello, you guys. So, can you hear that sound? Someone is literally shouting. So, hello, you guys. It is... It is Friday. It is Friday the 18th of... It is Friday the 18th of March. And... You guys, we've been here trying to still settle in. We're still trying to settle in. But the negative about this place is the fact that we don't have steady supply of electricity compared to where we're coming from. One thing you should know about you is that there are, you know, specific places where you enjoy steady supply of electricity, while there are places where you literally have to beg you know to get <laughs> to get electricity as in to get power supply you literally have to beg and even if you beg who are you, who are you going to beg who exactly are you going to beg you just have to figure your thing out as much as i love the space because of how spacious it is and uh, the privacy and most importantly how quiet it is that is the fact that i can actually hear myself think you know it has its own downside, but the biggest downside is the lack of electric, uh, electricity supply. The lack of electricity supply. 
there are areas where, especially locations, I mean communities where they have the power station, those places enjoy steady supply of electricity. That is just the, I think the agreement they reach with the community before they uh, um, construct their power plants there or power stations there. Yeah, I think that's just uh, the agreement or something. But for areas that do not have power stations, trust me, you guys. Trust me. Is it that you own a lista, you buy diesel all the time, or you run generator, which means buying lots of fuel, or you go ahead and make provision for your solar energy or uh, yeah, solar energy? If not, you are the messy of the electrical company in Nigeria, and you know what that means. You know what that feels like. Anyway, so it's Friday. I just had my breakfast. Not just had my, I think I had my breakfast around 10. And this is already past 11, almost 12. And um, I really want to get into editing, even though that uh, I don't have, there's no light to charge my phone. And you know, when you start editing, you know, it kind of, I wanted to use, try my laptop again because I've not been able to edit with my laptop. It's so slow. Editing my laptop is so slow. It takes time. Like a video I will edit that will take me maybe like an hour or there about to edit on my phone takes me literally days to edit on my laptop. Like it takes me time because it's the laptop is not fast, you know. And editing with my phone too, it's not really easy. You know how you have to hold and be. It's not easy, but I'm still editing on my phone. So because number one the laptop is very slow number two you need power supply to be able to use the laptop that's where we are at right now so i'm trying to edit a video that i'm going to put out and for the city tours video the city tour videos the issue is that because of the increase in electric in um in fuel price the fuel the pump price the increase in pump price of uh, petrol it's not going to be easy for us to you know drive around travel around because fuel petrol is so expensive right now you guys petrol is so expensive apart from the fact that petrol is expensive to even get it is a problem most uh, for, uh, stations especially well NNPC where they have uh, they have petrol the kind of queue you see there the kind of queue you see there, ah, God, it's not funny. So for now, our city tour videos is on pause until this uh, petrol issue is sorted out. That's number one. Number two, I really need to settle in. Uh, Carpenter that was supposed to be here like almost two weeks ago, we've not seen him. Uh, the electrical guy that started to work here for some reason, maybe went he went somewhere for work and I've not seen him since then. And what other thing? I think that's about it. The plumber has done his thing, even though I still need him to correct, to come back and correct a few things. But I think that's the major thing. Every other thing that needs to be done here, I am the one that is going to do them. But I wanted all of those guys to come in and finish their own part of the uh, job or their own part of the work so that when I get on my own, mine is not like, it's not, you know, it's not something I have to do around the clock. It's just something I have to like, you know, sort out gradually, moving to a new place, settling in. It's not something you do overnight. You really need to take your time to settle in. So it's something I'm gonna do over time, like, um, you know, painting the places where the house stains. Uh, after they finish painting the house, the guys that came in to walk, clean, wash, and all of that, stain the walls a lot. So we have stains all over the house. I need to sort that out. I need to clean the couch. The person who, the carpenter who brought in the couch, had um, a little accident on the way all the couch fell down so the couch are really dirty apart from the one that is even broken they are dirty so after he has fixed that one i need to clean the couch that's another work and then um, the doors needs to be painted i'm going to do that myself i'm not ready to bring in a painter that's going to be taking me to you know up and down, up and down. i don't have the strength to start shouting so i'm going to get the fillers fill in the doors myself over time maybe i'm going to do one a day one a week anyhow it goes that's just how i'm going to sort it out so i'm going to do the painting of the doors you know over the course of time i don't know if i'm going to do it this month or three months from now i don't know we'll figure it out 
I think that's just about it. Then I need to organize my kitchen. Jesus, my kitchen is so scattered. I cooked in my kitchen yesterday. I cooked soup in my kitchen yesterday. You guys, it was a, it was war. If you are, am I like? I've not really had the kind of kitchen I would like to have. My dream kitchen. I've not had anything close to it. But where I was coming from, the kitchen was a little bit bigger. It's a little bit bigger and it has countertop. Here, it's small and it does not have any counter. So finding where to place things, cut things and all of that, it's just a tug of war. But we figure it out. We will, we will figure it out. It's just a matter of time. So I need to sort that out. I need to sort my earning table out so I can iron the children's school, uh, school uniforms. I need to sort my mach uh, washing machine issue out because the plumber has done his thing, but I need to raise the washing machine up so that the drain can work properly. So I'm still waiting on the carpenter for that. So I think that's just what's left. That's just what's left. I love the fact that this place is so airy, even though the weather is quite hot right now. Even though the weather is quite hot right now, this place is really airy. I love that. So with the lack of electricity, apart from the fact that you need to do certain things with electricity, like use my laptop, the fridge, uh, the phones, iron, use the washing machine. Apart from that, you don't really feel the absence of electricity if it's just, um, uh, if it's just when it comes to the lighting, because natural light, this is what I've been looking for. This is what I've been looking for. And this is what made me fall in love with the house. The natural lighting and the space. These are the two things. Okay, and the three toilets. These are the two, the three things that made me fall in love. Okay, no. Plus the privacy. Okay. The, and the quiet. <laughs> There's just a lot of things that make, me, that made me fall in love with the place. Okay, so if I start listing them, they are much. But then, the these are the givings. And then, the... Negatives, oh my god, they are still on the high side too. Anyway, I will see you guys in a bit. Let me see if I can get into editing and see how much work I can get done today, even though the day is almost over because my kids will soon be coming back from school. And once they get back here, the day kind of starts slowing down and you just can't do much. But let's see what we can do anyway. 